Is the Panasonic G9 Vlog L even worth buying? Disclaimer, it totally is. Hey guys, my name is Matthew Daniel. I'm a cinematographer, filmmaker, and YouTuber. This channel is all about micro four third cameras and budget video equipment that actually matters and makes a difference. If you're interested in something like that, definitely consider subscribing. So is it even worth buying the Panasonic G9 Vlog L update? firmware thing, sort of. So when you purchase this, what do you actually even get? The first thing you're obviously getting is Vlog L, a super, super flat color profile that allows you to color grade all your footage and get really, really nitty gritty in the color grading and color correction process. And it's super, super nice if you want to take it to the next professional level. The second thing that I kind of like and I kind of don't like is a waveform monitor. A waveform monitor is basically um, a monitor that is able to show you your correct exposure, sort of similar to using the histogram, but the only thing that I don't like about using the waveform monitor on the camera is how much real estate of the actual screen it takes up. Now let's kind of talk about the color. If you're a beginner and trying to just learn color grading, use the natural color profile. I have a video all right there talking about why the natural cut profile and I've used it for the longest time to color grade, but I wanted to push myself to the next level, which was Cinelike D. Cinelike D kind of gives you some more room to color grade and I started color grading more and more in Cinelike D, but it still wasn't what I truly wanted. And if you really want to get to the next professional level in filmmaking and video production and creating personal films for yourself, if you really want to take that to the next level, you definitely need to get the log or log type footage. What you're getting out of this is from 10 stops to 12 stops, you're getting much, much more dynamic range and it's able to just allow you to color correct a little bit more, color grade, push the colors more, but you definitely don't want to use this in 8-bit. You can use 8-bit, but you're not going to be able to push those colors as much as you are if you use 10-bit or more. My biggest con with actually getting this is the price point. What the heck, Panasonic? Why are you charging people $100 for a color profile and waveform for a camera? If you want to actually learn how to color grade Vlog L footage and get really, really crispy, clean footage, something like this turn into something like this, definitely want to check out that video on the screen. And until next week, guys, peace.